Let me end by using an analogy. They built a five-star masjid. Yeah, I saw it. Fifteen million rands. And they think they've accomplished something great. But they're voting in the elections and they're so blind they can't see back door riba. They're on board the ship. Yeah, the masjid is full, subhanAllah. They are on board the ship and they do not know that the ship is sinking. <laughs> Pity them. The ship is sinking. And you build a five-star masjid on board this ship. When you come to our Muslim village, you're not going to see a five-star masjid. You'll see a thatch roof. And you'll see simple mud walls or so. A simple structure of the masjid. That ship is sinking. No one can prevent it from sinking. That is the hadith about 999 out of every 1,000. The Muslim Ummah can have a future only if it gets off that ship. So long as you remain on board that ship, no matter how many salat you perform, you must sink with the ship. But if you get off that ship, you will now be following Muhammad We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may bless all those who now faithfully follow the Quran and the Sunnah regardless of the